My name is Nicholas Johnson and this is the Space Warehouse Gallery. I grew up in the frozen tundra of Minnesota. When I was young, this question had never occurred to me for some reason. It was just, I mean, we stayed inside so much when it was freezing cold, unless we're ice skating or playing in the snow. It wasn't until I moved to Florida in my adult life and then would go back to visit this awful, frozen, mostly just dead everywhere, whatever the opposite word of a paradise is, of Minnesota in the wintertime, that, like, what, what did all the animals do? You don't ever see any animals other than, like, deer and foxes and stuff like that. What do the little, like, what do the little wet animals do once it gets below freezing or below zero Fahrenheit for that matter. You saw the title of this video, How do turtles survive the frozen winters they breathe out of their butts? Specifically today, I'm talking about the painted turtle, the Chrysemys picta. The painted turtle is cold-blooded, which means that it regulates its body temperature with its surrounding environment. The scientific term is basking. In the wintertime, obviously it gets way too cold to be out basking on a rock. The painted turtles spend most of their life in the water. What they do when they sense that it's starting to become wintertime, when it's about to be freezing cold, they go down under the water. Painted turtles are like us in that they have lungs and they require oxygen to breathe and live and stay alive, but not like us. The lower their body temperature gets, the less energy they need. Their metabolism slows way down, so their movement slows way down, their heartbeat slows way down. They can actually use as little as 5% of their original operating capacities for their body. And uh, that doesn't mean they don't need any oxygen, it just means they need 95% less oxygen. Something the painted turtle does that we definitely cannot do is it gets that through its butt. In the wintertime, lakes up in the north, up in Minnesota where I grew up, will freeze. A glaze of ice, actually sometimes feet thick layer of ice over the top of the lake. But the water underneath that ice is still liquid water uh, because the further down you go, the more regulated the Earth's temperature is. And so the floor of a pond or a lake up where lakes freeze is still around 39 degrees Fahrenheit, which is uh, four degrees Celsius for you Canadians out there and the rest of the world. Because what the hell are we doing in America? That is warm enough for these things to survive but still, there's a matter of breathing. Um, so what a turtle will do is go all the way down to the bottom of the lake. He'll kind of plant his butt down in the soil. On the backside of a painted turtle is an orifice called the cloaca. Cloaca. I keep calling it a butt, but it's really kind of like a butt penis combo. Turtles. What happens in their clo their cloaca? They can sort of allow access to their cloaca, to the outside world, and there will be like a fluid and gas exchange with their blood vessels. Kind of like how the insides of your lungs work. Go ahead and look that up somewhere because that's a whole video in itself. Um, but they're able to take in a really minimal amount of oxygen from water in their cloaca, in their butt orifice. It just so happens to be about 5% of what they can take in through their lungs, which is about exactly how much they need when they're down there for the winter time. So, a painted turtle lives fully half of its life at the bottom of a pond with their butt planted in the mud, sucking up oxygen through their cloaca. I really hope you learned something today. I assume you wouldn't be searching for this unless you uh, already heard that somewhere and you thought, oh wait, well, turtles don't breathe through their butt. Ryan, shut up, that's stupid. Uh, nope, they do, they really do. They do that. That's all I have for today. These little informational videos, I so pretty much I make these because usually I'm testing something. This camera B, which is maybe you didn't even notice, but it's sort of moving back and forth the whole time. And I, I casually will check it out over here. I, I got this robotic slider thing to look like, you know, an extra little more dramatic piece of video or whatever. Uh, I needed some reason to test it. I learned about these turtle butt breathing, maybe like, a, I don't know, whatever. I learned about that a while ago and I remember thinking, that's really interesting, more people should know that. I didn't know it until I was 40. And so, you know, if I can help someone else learn some stupid fact that they can regurgitate during a party at an earlier age, then I'm helping the world. And that is part of my icky guy. Thank you. I have been Nicholas Johnson. You're in Space Design Warehouse, where we do Survivor, not Really 